We welcome you to Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where this afternoon the Eastern Michigan Eagles have made the trek about 11 miles up Route 94 from Ypsilanti to Ann Arbor to take on the Michigan Wolverines. Andrew Wellick, who is on the uh, Ray Guy list, it's off a directional punt toward the sidelines. We'll see a lot of that. Breston picks up on it. Steve Breston, good cut there. Off to the races. It's speed on speed now, and Breston weaving his way toward the end zone is yanked down inside the pan. Nelson Drew, a tailback, finally caught up with him and brought him down. Just inside the 10-yard line. Good, tough run by Max Martin, who got the start at the tailback spot. Sophomore out of Madison, Alabama. There's a look. Third down and goal to go. They get motion from the tight end. And they go to the well one more time for the touchdown. Max Martin. No surprise there for the Wolverines. Came out behind that big offensive line wanting to set the tone. Max Martin getting the quarterback's eyes. Does a nice job of jumping on that route. Well, Andrew Wellick tried to kick it away from Steve Breston toward the sidelines last time. That didn't work. Let's see what he tries here. High snap over his head. Disaster for EMU. Michigan takes over near the 20-yard line of the Eagles. Two special teams plays that dictated this first quarter. Both first and goal. Martin again, and it opened up like the Red Sea for Moses. Touchdown. Well blocked play, but that was too easy. Well blocked. And Eastern Michigan so small inside there with their defensive tackles, their linebackers only streak here, and this is not a place to break a streak like that. 0 and 18 against Big Ten teams. Third down and ten, under pressure immediately. Bonet, and down he goes. Lamar Woodley makes the hit back inside the ten. Low the first two possessions. Penny, quick toss to the flank. Preston. They are trying to get Steve Preston on track. That's his fourth reception of the season and a gain of eight yards. Corey Parker, Darren Matthews, a year ago. Brady is the tailback on second and ten. Penny to the sidelines. Preston is there. And Preston with a good second ever gets that first down inside the 30 to the 27 yard line. Stephen Lewis got there initially. Corey Parker helped out. Lewis has uh, not had to travel very far with the football. Uh, that minus 14, some of that's on special teams. The punt over the head goes as negative yardage with the snap that was over the head. And he tossed to the side again. Avant trying to make a move. Got by Lewis, buried inside the 15 yard line. Getting over to make the hit. Run Trell Woodruff. Woodruff to the tight end. Moves to the offensive backfield ahead of Grady. Avant in motion. Henny on first down. Hit as he throws the end zone. Avant is there. Touchdown. Jason Jones got to the quarterback just as he released the football. Jason Avant wide open in the end zone. What a nice job by Chad Henney standing in the pocket knowing he was going to take the hit. He saw Jones coming right in front of him. Stood in there, though, threw off of his front foot. That's a, that takes a lot for a quarterback. Knowing you're going to take the hit to go ahead and step into that ball, he did put it right on the money, and it was a nice play by Chad Henney. Well, the All-America candidate, Garrett Rivas, a Groza Award candidate for the point after. And he now has three of them here this afternoon. It is 20. Oak of three today are the Eagles. Oh, that little shovel pass, and the Wolverines would have none of it. Goodness. Lamar Woodley would not be fooled, and it's fourth down. One thing they're physical teams they'll have to play right off the bat. Kevin Grady is now the tailback behind Thompson. Penny to the air. Plenty of time. 
About it there. Touchdown! They beat Dwan Bracey. A beautiful throw from Henny. Excellent route run by Jason Avant, the senior from Chicago Carver High School. A lot of time on the bench. Michigan doesn't win the Big Ten last year, make it to the Rose Bowl without true freshmen playing key roles. Henny and Hart. Brady big opening. And he exploits that hole out across the 45 down to the 41-yard line of Eastern Michigan. Richardson, the linebacker, junior college down for Michigan. They've been awfully good today on third downs. Deep drop, Henny. He's got running room. And he's got a first down inside the 20-yard line. Chad Henney showing some quick feet. Bracey and Richardson make the stop. Gained about 14. Some quick feet, like you said, but also good decision. The pocket comes in from the outside, so he steps up wisely. He knows he needs 11 for the first down. He looked over and saw where the first down marker was. Knows he has to duck his head. Uh, Mike Coloche. And now Reuben Riley at that tackle spot. They set up a nice screen here. Brady in the open field. Inside the 10. 17-yard gain. It'll be third and one coming up. Corey Parker got over to make the stop. The six. Preston deployed in motion. And he looking around. Has the man wide open. Thompson, the fullback. Touchdown. Six-yard touchdown pass. Chad Henney to Brian Thompson, the fullback. Uh, Henney did a nice job of keeping his eyes down the field when his first couple of receivers were taken away and not open. Last week, he would force the ball in there or make a bad throw over the receiver's head. This time, though, more patience, more bet. Second down and nine. The Eagles trying to get something going here in the second quarter. Bonet being rushed. Eludes one, and Woodley hits him. Bonet throws it up for grabs. And the man who went up for it was Lewis, and he grabbed it. Oh, what a circus play. Travis Lewis jumped higher than anybody else and pulled it down and beat Willis Berenger to the ball for 33 yards. Lewis at six foot. Michigan with soft coverage, and Bonet goes to the air and throws it to Trent, who makes the interception near the 13-yard line. Morgan Trent, a sophomore out of Brighton, Michigan. When you saw Eastern Michigan, get very good coming back after a loss, 20 and five under Lloyd Carr. Henny is a wide-open receiver down the sidelines. Massey, the tight end. Lewis brought him to the ground with an undercut and yard field goal attempt by Garrett Rivas. He's three of four this season. And he's got this one through the uprights. It is good. So 38 points on the board for the Michigan Wolverines matching the number on the kicker's jersey. And don't forget, coming up at defense, we'll have to settle down first because they'll be on the field here to start the second half. Opening kickoff to the second half, and here come the Wolverines. Out across the 35-yard line. Outstanding uh, kickoff return by Carl Tabb, a veteran wide receiver. 39. They're not going to get enough chances on offense, and they haven't been able to do that at all today. Well, you heard John Cooper at halftime say he'd get uh, Chad heading off the field, get Gutierrez in there right away, and that's exactly what Lloyd Carr has done. Does this sound unusual to you that uh, Lloyd Carr be listening to a former Ohio State coach? <laughs> well, not, but knowing that Lloyd Carr, not much, not one to have much of an ego, he's going to do what he thinks is right, whether it's an OSU coach that suggests it or not. <laughs> Gutierrez is not necessarily 
your typical. So he's decided to stay with the Michigan program, and this is a little bit of a reward for him getting some time here. But he's a good, experienced quarterback, and it's a nice, decisive throw to Jason Avant right there to pick up first down yardage inside the 35-yard line. And a kid like Gutierrez is a valuable commodity to have on a Big Ten team if your first-string quarterback either struggles or gets injured. Well, you got to give him a lot of credit to his character, realizing what he had here at Michigan, knowing that he could really help Chad Henney develop. Henney's such a young kid. Even though he played all the last season, Gutierrez has been in this system. He's more mature. He can help the young kid learn and develop and really contribute to the success of this program. So you really have to take your hat off to him for what he's done, what he's accepted, and being able to, to deal with that situation the way that he has. Max Martin continues. And played, but two years ago, they thought Gutierrez was the only quarterback they had on campus with any kind of experience that would have been coming back that next year. Gutierrez looking to the far sidelines. Got the fullback, Brian Thompson, who's angled out of bounds inside the 20 with a first down. Lewis responding from the defensive line. You have to think Chad Henney's going to take more hits this year than he did last year. Gutierrez, very patient. Oh, nice catch. The freshman bobbled it for a moment, and he's got a first down inside the five-yard line. Mario Manningham from Warren, Ohio. He had a catch for a touchdown, a 25-yarder. Michigan has usually been a field goal try upcoming. James Bloomsburg for the Michigan Wolverines. 21-yard field goal attempt. And the senior out of Berkeley, California, has it through the upset. Uprights. Michigan tax three more on the board. They're loving in the big house this afternoon. Michigan by 41. EMU showed a blitz. Big running play, well executed running play to the outside. Jerome Jackson followed his blocking, very patient run, let that play set up, and he picks up first down yardage inside the 45 yard line of Eastern Michigan. Jeremy Perry. Game is one of the things that they have always done, and it's important to this offense that one of the tight ends steps up and gets involved. Gutierrez to the freshman, shaking loose at the 20. Manningham inside the 20 to the 18 yard line. A player. First and 10 at the 19 of Eastern Michigan. Gutierrez, that one step drop, fast in the flat, makes the first man miss. Hit another. Holtzclaw finally gets him down inside the 10 yard line. He's got a first down. They're already, in Terry Malone's words, playing at that speed. Jackson gets a nice block, breaks a tackle to the end zone for the touchdown. Jerome Jackson at a seven-yard touchdown run. Got a block initially from the big fullback, the former defensive lineman, Will Paul. Well, it's easy to follow a big fullback like that, 260 pounds leading the way, but Jerome Jackson took a pretty solid hit about the three or four-yard line and just wouldn't go down, just bullied his way into the end zone. That's right. So you understand the passing game because you saw it from the quarterback's perspective and you know the routes and you know all those kinds of things. Nearly intercepted, and then Tad makes a great play on it. Tremendous break on the ball by Lyle Garrison. It went through his hands, and then Carl Tabb stayed right with the play and gets a first down. Another one of those outstanding receivers that hadn't had a ton of playing time, but has taken advantage of the opportunities as they've come here. This is a nice catch, nice job of concentration, staying involved with that ball, staying on top of it. And really, as you said, a ball that should have been intercepted. Yeah, and there's the tip drill. That's what they work on sometimes in practice. Really left an impression. Jerome Jackson following his blocking patiently. Spinning close to a touchdown. He's brought down right inside the uh, one yard line. Down and goal to go inside the one. And they want to reward Bradley. And this time he dives past the defender into the end zone for the touchdown. Elijah Bradley, a junior, redshirt junior out of Hercules, California. Well, the band's gotten a good workout with that song, too. Band in the... Really like for the down the road, but they don't want to play them this year. They want to give them a red shirt. Well, especially when you got Chad Henney, who looks like he's going to be here for this is sophomore year and then two more. Quarterback draw. This is Anthony Bass, or Antonio Bass, I beg your pardon. 
he picks up a first down. Back to the sidelines, Quint Kessner. Run to the outside once again by Nelson Drew as time winds down in this one. Michigan answered some questions here today. Jeff Jennings' squad ran into a buzzsaw. The fired-up Wolverines put it to their closest rivals just seven miles down the road, Eastern Michigan Eagles. Let's send it back to the studio and Mike.